Okay. Yep, we had already done our spring startup on this car. We had a little bit of an issue, which I thought at the time was carburetor, turned out to be fuel pump. We put a different fuel pump on it and it uh, much, much better, smoother, drives good now. Uh, you notice that it still has the, it is nice interior. We have a problem with this one wing window, could use a new frame. Um, we had some of the stuff that we went over when we fired it up in the spring because I am offering the car for sale now. It's not just a, I may sell it, I will offer it for sale. And we put some sealer on here and uh, sealed up a little leak that was there. Didn't do anything with the spare tire uh, carrier. There's a little hole underneath it. For the most part, the body is solid. Interior's nice, clean, it was redone. Um, and I'm gonna start at asking 8,000 for the car. I would give a discount for those in Alaska while I'm gonna try and advertise it nationally. If you happen to be down in the lower 48, um, eh, Canada, wherever, if you're interested in coming up and driving it back home, it can set here and we could go pick you up at the airport. You could come get the car and drive it somewhere. I would recommend the ferry myself, but uh, yeah, whatever works for you. I say that because I don't like customs in Canada anymore. <laughs> it just, um, yeah. We, you can see underneath there, there's a couple of those wires that are underneath there are a combination of uh, wires for the stereo, which is a really bad stereo, the one somebody put in here. I had thought of putting in the original, one of the original radios, and like I say, selling the car just wasn't important to me anymore. And over on the left there is a delay timer for the wipers, which is currently not wired up, and that is the orange wire underneath there. I... Uh, I had a little problem with the wipers at first. I put in a new switch, but before putting in the new switch, I just wanted to make sure the intermittent wiper was not the problem, so I disconnected it. And I didn't hook it back up with the new switch. Didn't matter to me. In the back seats, it's not a perfect car, but it's a pretty nice driver. And I would entertain trades if someone is in love with this and, um, wants to trade me some other cars, whatever, it's partial trades. Um, yeah, I got lots of cars. So I don't know, somebody from the lower 48 to trade is probably not a likely thing. That would be more someone local. Uh, the window crank is a little bit finicky. Uh, yeah, you have to hold it in and it will work, it functions, but it's a little loose in the bushing there. I don't know what's going on with that. So I don't overly run the tailgate down and, uh, and open it up a lot. Uh, awful lot of people, they go and they update those to the electric operator, which would be a lot nicer. And that was on the more deluxe version, had the electric operator. Um, again, that was something I wasn't really looking at doing myself right off. So let's go ahead and get started up and then I will move it over onto the pad. You can close the hood for me there for after, after we start it. Oh. Yeah. I ran it on accessory. Okay, well, we'll have to string a charger out here. <laughs> I don't feel like changing the battery again. That one's bolted down. It's a good battery. That was me. Apparently, uh, cars that are more new, you, you put it in lock, it comes out. Um, I have seen this before in older cars, but I forgot that you could turn it all the way back to accessory, pull the key out, and listen to your radio all day, or have a dead battery if you're not thinking about it, because that still turns on the uh, alternator start charging circuit. Oh. So even if there's no other accessories on, 
Um, well, no, it shouldn't. No, actually, on ex I'm not sure on this one. Actually, it shouldn't. What would be an accessory that's drying down the battery? Radio was off. Oh, no, dome light. I didn't leave the door open. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm sure leaving it on accessory was a bad idea. Anyway, we will uh, charge it up, start it again. Then I will have Bert put some for sale signs in the windows because I'm going to go ahead and drive it so people can see it around town here. Have some access to it. Uh, maybe clean some of my excess stuff in the back I don't need. And I'll just drive it as one of my cars here for the next few days. Like I say, I like it. Main reason why I don't just drive it when I have is I have other cars that I like to drive. And also I wanted to keep the miles lower on this since I decided to turn it over to somebody that loves it. So uh, we're looking at 80,892. I start driving it every day. It's probably going to end up with uh, 82,000 on it by the time somebody buys it, probably. Um, you know, I don't drive back and forth a whole lot just for fun. And a lot of times I need the pickups. But uh, this will end up going to town instead of my Mustang for a while. And uh, it's just a 98 convertible. That's not an old classic. So don't ask me about buying it because you're not interested anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, but it's not the classic that people are really looking for. report after I've driven it for a few days but we'll post this video anyway yeah love the way that shuts okay. let's go for a ride and we have put all new suspension bushings underneath it um, anything rubber that I knew of we replaced Is a three on the tree which is either wonderful to you or absolutely disgusting no in between huh I don't think so I don't really think so there are people that love the automatic and people that love the manual and I'm not finding the in-between crowd these days yeah that's right I even got insurance on this now this is legal not like our last trip <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's not cutting out like it was with the other fuel pump before. Yeah. The other fuel pump was doing two things. It was not pumping consistently, and it had uh, too much pressure when it did pump. So it was causing both a rich condition and an intermittent lean, so it, which really made it look like it was a carburetor problem. Yeah, that's a curious failure state. Um, I was having a little bit of annoying to me of a wandering of the car. It was uh, towed out a little bit. We went ahead and adjusted the tow in. I thought even when I was driving it the past few years, I kept thinking that this needed to be towed in. And I just hadn't taken the time to do it, uh, mostly because I wasn't really driving the car much. Yeah. Austin doesn't like doing adjustments and stuff like that. It was towed out about three sixteenths of an inch, and we also saw a little bit of looseness in the idler arm, so we put a new idler arm on it. Yeah, no air conditioning, basic car. Um, we went through all the brakes. The brakes stopped nice and straight at this point, and they're not power, but they stop good. They're standard uh, drum brakes. The car comes with six new tires, which if you're looking at a hot rod type thing, well, they're six new original stock size, as close to stock size tires as you can get. It's the 283 two barrel. And it drives 
trucks down the road. Yeah. And you're not really familiar with older vehicles, but you want to drive it and give your report of what you think of it, or kind of hesitant? I'm a little hesitant. Okay. redone in the 80s hasn't had leakage or problems with it but uh, well it's not a new redone interior at this point it will clean up nicely if someone did yeah um, it's a nice driver car it's a nice driver car well I was starting to say yeah when I first when I bought the car I wasn't really excited about station wagons you know and I it's just not my thing that much but then when I saw the condition of the car I decided to buy it anyway and Austin is in love with station wagons 
So that kind of talked me into the idea of making an offer to the guy. And uh, the more I looked at the condition of it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, pretty good. Which then I put another several thousand dollars with all the new bushings and new, new rear springs and air shocks. And yeah, we've done other stuff to it. Made it nicer yet. But I'm just really not a wagon person. Yeah. I could be a wagon person if I had a somewhat younger than me wife and we had kids, but that's not me. <laughs> right now I'm in the, you know, sports car mode. So there's lock, not accessory. And I will take some pictures and put it on Craigslist. Cool.